Hey guys, it's Yush, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my five favorite productivity apps that I use on my 11 inch iPad Pro. So to get things started with number one on the list is Notion. Now Notion, it couldn't be a productivity video without mentioning this app because it is the all-in-one ultimate productivity app. I personally use it in my workflow as a to-do list tracker, to track my book notes, to run my YouTube channel, weekly email newsletter, and to have a bookmark page to track any links or articles that I would like to read for the future. Now, I have a YouTube video where a couple weeks ago where I break down exactly how I set up my entire Notion dashboard. So if you're interested in that, I'll be sure to link it uh, down below. And I personally could not recommend Notion enough. I think it is a great app. And the great thing is, is that you can access it across all your devices. So whatever changes you make on the iPad, you can easily access on your phone, your laptop, or anything else that you can think of. Number two is Notability. Now I've been using Notability on the iPad since 2019, and that was when I was still a senior in college. So obviously now that I've graduated college, I no longer use Notability in terms of taking class notes, but if you've watched my content for a while, you'll know that for the past two years, I've switched from taking handwritten notes for all my book notes into Notability. So whenever I'm reading a book, I'll just simply open up my iPad right next to the book and just start taking down and jotting down any notes. And the great thing about that is that I can access those notes across my iPhone onto my Mac. And then I can also export those notes onto Google Drive, or I can export a PDF and send an email copy to myself or to anyone that would want that would want them in the future. Now, I will say that Notability, since I think 2022, they have started offering a subscription tier model. It used to be Notability only would cost around $6 for a one-time flat fee, and you got the entire program and all of its features. I was lucky enough that I was able to purchase the program before they introduced this subscription tier model. So I'm still on like that legacy grandfathered program. But that is something to note that if you do buy Notability right now, currently, you will then have to purchase one of their premium uh, subscription tier plans. Number three is Lightroom. I also have my own freelance photography business on the side and I edit all my photos using Lightroom. I personally still like to edit my photos off my laptop, but having the convenience to edit them on my iPad Pro is a huge plus because the iPad Pro compared to my laptop is that I can access using my pencil and the pencil allows me to make really fine tune and sharp precise adjustments to any photos I would want. And a great thing about the iPad Pro is that since it uses USB-C, I can easily plug in an external SSD or one of my SD card readers and quickly import any of the photos that I've taken onto an external SSD. Number four is Google Drive. This encompasses all of Google's apps, so Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, etc., etc. But for me, I've been using Google Docs since I was in high school, so I have tons and tons of documents all the way from way back in the day. And this is just such a great way, an easy way to access any of these. And when I was actually running my podcast in 2018, I was making weekly episodes for, we actually wrote the entire outline of the podcast onto a Google Drive sheet and we were able to share it with my co-host. And I was able to actually upload and bring up that podcast script onto my iPad whenever it was time to record. So since it's a cloud-based program, I'm able to make any changes on my iPad and it shows up on my phone and on my laptop. So Google Drive just easily syncs everything that I would ever need all together in one place. And finally, number five on the list is Apple Notes. A lot of people like to sleep on Apple Notes, but it's a really powerful app once you learn all the intricacies and all the little things that you can do with it. And I know that I mentioned I have Notion when it comes to running my YouTube channel, but what I actually like to do is that if I have any rough outline or a rough idea of a YouTube video, or anything business related, I actually like to go into my notes app on my phone or on my iPad or on my Mac and just simply jot down those ideas, whether it be a header and actually write a really rough script. Once that script is kind of finalized, is that that is when I'll actually go into Notion and transport that script onto that app. But in the meantime, when it comes to just having rough ideas of content, I love using Apple Notes for it. Also, Apple Notes is such an easy way for me to jot down anything like a grocery list or Anything that I can think of, I usually just go default to Apple Notes to put it in because it's a low frictionless way to get my ideas onto something. So that's it. Those are the five apps that I use on a daily basis that help keep me productive on my iPad Pro. Thanks again for watching. With love and respect, Yush.